Ja, eigentlich wollte ich heute meinen Vortrag auf Deutsch machen, aber ich habe gemerkt, dass viele Gäste von außerhalb Deutschland kommen. Deswegen mache ich meinen Vortrag in Englisch. Okay, uh, my name my name is uh, Shannon Jui. Uh, works? No, no, no works. Uh, I'm a AI chief scientist of uh, Huawei. Uh, uh, Huawei is, uh, I, uh, I think, uh, one of the biggest uh, telecommunication company in the world, with around uh, uh, 180,000 employers, and uh, in my team. Uh, uh, there, there are around, uh, I, I can uh, disclose the number, but uh, it's the hundreds, uh, hundreds of uh, best talents, uh, many of them are PhD, uh, working on, uh, on, uh, the, on designing, implementing, and uh, realizing uh, cutting edge uh, AI models uh, for different purposes, mainly focusing on uh, uh, computer vision and uh, uh, nat natural language processing but also for, to some extent uh, the, the decision engine, the recommendation engine, and the search engine as well. It works now? Uh, okay, great. Well, so uh, as, uh, as non, known to all of us, uh, wait a minute, uh, AI technology is uh, processing uh, very fast. We can observe a gap uh, However, we can uh, observe a gap on the one hand. On the one hand, uh, there are there are a few a few uh, smart mo mobile providers uh, such as uh, Huawei keep uh, developing more and more uh, air capabilities onto the device. Uh, however, uh, we uh, although we are a big, very big company, we are still not able to cover all the needs uh, of hundreds of millions of users. And, uh, but, but on the other hand, there are many uh, developers of uh, the communities, and uh, they have a very great idea about uh, limited skills to leverage all the AI capabilities of the mobile phone. So we should uh, make our uh, ecosystem uh, partners uh, focus, focusing on their own uh, uh, specific AI applications, uh, fitting their target market, and acquire uh, where we, the platform provider, provides, uh, uh, we develop platform uh, and, uh, uh, with uh, excellent uh, AI models in the heart, but uh, uh, making it easy to use, hiding all the technical complexity, in, partic uh, in particular related to uh, the designing of algorithms. Well, so summarizing all the purpose, uh, oh, sorry, summarizing all the problems we have uh, been faced with related to, to AI in recent years. And uh, uh, it's a common problem, AI uh, talents are scarce resources. And uh, uh, as I said at the beginning, Huawei has uh, thousands, uh, 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 hundreds uh, in, in my department and uh, thousands of overall best talents, AI talents in the world. But uh, still, uh, uh, we also believe we belong to the first league uh, of the company. But uh, uh, we, we, are, we are facing a very, uh, very particular domain. Uh, it's about uh, bringing all the AI intelligence uh, onto the device. So uh, as to the constraints uh, on the uh, device, there are still very few research work uh, done in this area. So this is exactly our uh, focus of research and also strength and uh, advancement. The first uh, constraints uh, we have been faced with is uh, uh, insufficient uh, resources. Uh, uh, as you know, a device has a very limited uh, resources uh, uh, in, uh, in computational power, energy consumption, and uh, data modeling, data management, etc. We don't have the luxury uh, of, of, of the resources on the cloud. And uh, the second constraint is uh, low efficiencies in development. And uh, developing any AI capability or mobile devices, I think uh, the whole life cycle is not as, uh, as smooth as uh, on the cloud. Uh, so they, uh, uh, they are lacking a comprehensive, effective, and efficient uh, IDE. And uh, 
So the development cycle of uh, any AI models for devices uh, is until today still very painstaking. So uh, yes, uh, starting from uh, uh, collecting the training data and the training, uh, uh, and the tra uh, first uh, designing and training the model on the cloud, and uh, we then uh, because normally the model after being trained is has uh, hundreds of megabytes, if not of a gigabyte. So we need to minimize minimize the model size uh, without uh, uh, great loss of the accuracy. Then we download the model to the device and testing. And uh, of course, uh, in, in the first rounds of uh, iterations, uh, the performance and accuracies are, are not uh, normally uh, uh, sufficient. So we have to lo uh, loop it, uh, uh, to do se uh, uh, to do several rounds of iteration. Normally, uh, it will take uh, take uh, much effort. So uh, the process uh, as of today is broken and still very time-consuming and uh, inefficient. And the third uh, constraint we have been faced with uh, in terms of uh, uh, AI intelligence on the device is uh, fragmented capability. In the area of uh, uh, mobile intelligence, there are still many tiny and siloed models and uh, fragmented also in the user experience. Many models are similar, are mostly redundant, but uh, they lack a structured and systematic approach in terms of uh, unified and uh, coherent hardware and uh, software uh, stake architecture, and also a, a well-organized training and testing data and management, and also standard uh, testing method and criteria. And uh, all of that has been more or less matured on the cloud, but not, not in the world of uh, mobile intelligence. To that end, uh, the, the, the uh, a right collaboration of model development lifecycle uh, among the devices, among the telecommunication channel, uh, uh, and also uh, between, uh, between cloud and, uh, and devices need to be addressed. So, so uh, the last uh, constraints we ha have been faced with is, uh, 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 is, uh, uh, is a diff uh, difficult uh, difficult improvement and upgrade problem. So, uh, so far, as mentioned before, the AI model is uh, improving very fast. It, a, no, a model needs uh, hundreds of iterations to become mature. So, uh, so ideally, it should be decoupled from the normal upgrade cycle, such as for the operating system. And uh, the upgrade cycle for operating systems uh, in Android world, uh, uh, normally taking a uh, much longer time than, than the upgrade cycle needed required by AI model. So we need to de decouple uh, the, uh, 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 both cycles. So the solution of Huawei uh, to the challenge mentioned above is, a, is first uh, we uh, design and develop our own AI chip. We, I think uh, we belong to the first one uh, coming out with uh, I, I, in my belief, the base AI chips uh, uh, optimized for, uh, for the intelligence uh, computation on the device. And uh, so, uh, so apart from uh, our own uh, device, uh, our own uh, AI, uh, AI chip, we, uh, based on this chip, we also develop our AI engine and, uh, as well as uh, AI uh, service layer and, uh, uh, and uh, opening up to the ecosystem. In a nutshell, our architecture uh, uh, of high AI can be divided into uh, four parts. So, so they, are, they are from bottom up, Huawei High AI Foundation, uh, then uh, up to the uh, mid-layer, uh, Huawei High AI Engine, Huawei High AI Services, and, uh, uh, and uh, we have also de uh, developed an end-to-end -end IDE, Integrated Development uh, envi Environment, so talking about uh, a high AI foundation is uh, corresponding to the chipset uh, uh, on the bottom, to the chipset, uh, uh, converting and migrating existing models uh, to obtain uh, an uh, optimal performance using, and, uh, using heterogeneous uh, scheduling and MPU acceleration. MPU is uh, our jargon. MPU is uh, is a specific uh, uh, processor architecture uh, uh, specially designed for the process of uh, 
tensor. And uh, in the mid layer, uh, we have a Huawei High AI engine, and uh, corresponding to the, mid, uh, to the device level, with emphasis on uh, simplicity. So it's about uh, opening up our AI, AI, our AI app capability, uh, able to in integrate and compose different types uh, of uh, AI component into more uh, comprehensive uh, uh, in intelligent apps. So the, the upper layer Huawei High AI service is about uh, uh, putting emphasis on achieving a win-win situation together with our partner. So it's about uh, proactively pushing pushing the service onto our users based on our users' needs. So preparing and enabling services beforehand and uh, based on our prediction model on the device. So uh, looking more detail of our uh, high AI architecture. So uh, again, uh, start from the bottom. Uh, Huawei High AI Foundation comprised of uh, CPU, uh, GPU, DSP, and uh, MPU. MPU is, uh, as I said, uh, uh, is this our prop, uh, prod is, is, is also the core of our processor, is, uh, which, com uh, which is specially designed for the processing of, a, uh, of a, a tensor computation. And, uh, uh, and normally uh, with uh, 50 times, uh, 50 times speed, and uh, also from end-to-end -end scenario, normally 25 times. And uh, uh, moving upwards, uh, so we have DDK, it's uh, our environment, it's our library, and also runtime run environment for offline mode. And also, we, of course, we support Android NN for online mode and also for its runtime engine. And uh, with this setup, we are able to support a large variety of uh, frameworks. It's a, it's, a, it's a color in red, such as a, a, a most common one, a, a TensorFlow, TensorFlight, Cafe, etc. We also actively participating in, uh, uh, in different uh, open source communities such as uh, uh, Onyx, ONX, uh, and TVM. So we are not only serving and supporting the most common, commonly used uh, framework, we also actually actively involved and also influenced uh, in the open source community. So uh, in, uh, in so doing to make sure that our high AI platform will be uh, sustainable and also open, uh, have a more, uh, uh, more a, a broad ba a basis for openness and generalization. So moving up to high AI engine, uh, engine is just uh, any physical engine of the car. The design of the engine per se is uh, normally very technology intensive, right? Uh, we need uh, thousands of uh, base engineers uh, for the design of an engine. But the operation and also handling of the engine should be very simple, right? Uh, and uh, also highly automated. So, so uh, as a driver, you don't need to know how the engine uh, uh, was built. So, uh, so uh, as I said, uh, we have uh, hundreds, thousands of SNAI experts uh, developing the core capability of cutting edge algorithms. And, uh, but on the other hand, we encapsulate and hide all the complexity into our AI engine and making it easy to consume and uh, uh, also being robust. So at present, our engine uh, focused on, um, on CV computer, computer vision, focused on uh, ASR, which is, uh, uh, which is uh, uh, for the process of speech, and uh, NLP is uh, for the process of text. And uh, so far, we already have uh, released 20 plus, uh, 20 plus different uh, types of uh, AI API and uh, 19 plus operators. Uh, and think uh, our operator set uh, support is, uh, is uh, support uh, most commonly used uh, operators such as uh, convolution, deconvolution, LCM, RNN are well being covered. So uh, along the whole stack uh, from bottom to the top, we also uh, on the, uh, on the uh, right-hand side, we offer a very comprehensive toolkit IDE, uh, which can make the development work much more natural, intuitive, and easier. So all, part, all four parts, uh, I, I mean, uh, the higher foundation, higher uh, engine, higher service, and higher AI, uh, IDE build the core and the soul of our own device intelligence. 
Now, in more detail about, uh, about uh, High Air Foundation, in light of the benefit of our uh, platform, I think our, we offer, uh, so we, we offer three features, uh, uh, f uh, three features to our developed community. The first one is uh, real time. So uh, uh, our, our chip, our foundation is designed for providing acceleration APIs regardless of processor, hardware, uh, so as to accelerate the models. Uh, computation as well as the uh, operator's uh, computation on the mobile devices. The second aspect of the second feature, sorry, the f f second feature is efficiency. I think uh, even on the, on the small uh, device, we offer, we offer uh, a, a very good AI model management uh, API, uh, ranging from model compilation, model loading, model running, and model unloading, and also the third feature of our AI uh, foundation is Agile. Agile is about providing basic operator co computing API, including interfaces such as, uh, uh, such as convolution, deconvolution, pooling, full connection, RNN, LCM. And uh, we, uh, also a large variety of, uh, of uh, activation functions. So just a, uh, an example of our our, uh, our use case uh, in the layer of uh, foundation, and uh, with the help of our, our own chip architecture, MP MPU, our camera becomes uh, much more intelligent. Uh, it enables our mobile, uh, mobile phone able to sense the context, I mean sense uh, the environment, and uh, so as to adjust the parameters of the camera automatically and also in a professional way. In so doing, uh, the normal users of a Huawei mobile phone suddenly become a professional photographer. So far, we support 500 plus uh, scenarios in 19 different uh, categories. And uh, another example, uh, also in the area of uh, our uh, High Air Foundation, just taking uh, a Prisma scenario as an example with the help of our processor MPU, we have achieved uh, 50 times increase in performance effect ratio, 20 times increase in uh, efficiency. And on the left, left hand side is an example of, of the partner Prisma, the chief of uh, 2.5 seconds for a single frame rendering. And the performance of a style suggestion enabled uh, by our Huawei AI engine's uh, API called uh, a scene detection has been improved by 300%. It's uh, really amazing. Now, for the move on. Mm, now, moving on to the middle layer, uh, talking about high AI engine. And um, just taking an example of uh, it's easy to use capability. Uh, the case shown here is uh, uh, image aesthetic scoring. An app developer just need to insert two lines of code uh, to utilize this model. So you, you can see on the right hand side, uh, only very simple two lines of code. And uh, on average, uh, on average, developing any app based on our, uh, our uh, AI engine, uh, by the way, AI engine, all the models are already been pre-trained. So, uh, so it takes uh, uh, 10, 10 to uh, uh, 120 minutes end to end, of course, depending on the complexity of the use cases. Furthermore, so here's a nutshell of our AI engine offering. Uh, clustered, uh, so far, uh, so, uh, sorry. Uh, uh, okay, uh, okay, uh, okay, let's, let's move on to, the, to this one. Uh, it's a nutshell of our AI engine clustered in six different categories, such as translation by taking photo, and uh, voice controlled photo taking, just, uh, just uh, a few to be mentioned. And of course, uh, this uh, offering is uh, expanding in both w uh, width and depth uh, dramatically, and uh, we are working on that uh, yeah, at full speed. And uh, mainly focus, uh, again, as I said, uh, mainly focus on uh, in uh, computer vision, ASR uh, for uh, speech recognition, NLP for text recognition.
and also for semantic understanding of the text. So supporting both online mode, uh, online mode such as an uh, API, and also offline mode, our own offline mode. And, uh, and uh, our, our offline mode is uh, designed for, uh, for situation without uh, telecommunication, uh, without any Wi-Fi. Uh, so I think uh, we achieve both. Uh, online, uh, meaning uh, uh, proactively uh, uh, collaboration with uh, uh, intelligence on the cloud, and offline meaning solely relied on the intelligence of the device. So uh, here's another excellent example of our partner, Kinsoft. It's about uh, integrating the Office product uh, WPS capabilities with our AI platform. It, it took only half day, only half day to com complete this task. More, more information will be delivered later. So here's a web page of our AI platform. Any user can download SDK and other kind of tools from, uh, uh, from this web page. So we are not just, uh, 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 just talking, we work the talk. Uh, here's a, uh, an overview about the size and scale of our community. So far, we have uh, 350,000 registered, uh, registered developers worldwide. And uh, users, so we have uh, uh, 340 million users. Uh, so this is a very large amount, very large uh, community. And uh, well, we can benefit on that. And uh, Huawei's phone uh, shipment so far in uh, 2017 was 100, 153 million. And uh, the revenue sharing, I mean, uh, we share uh, the revenue uh, uh, collected uh, with our developer was uh, 45 million US dollar. So you can see it's a, it's a win-win community in multiple, multiple angle. And uh, the offering to our community is uh, uh, providing one-step services uh, for most apps. In so doing, the, the handling of the apps uh, become much more faster easier, intuitive, and intelligent due to uh, using more prediction capability of our high AI engine. So you can see we have very good coverage, cover 50, per, uh, 50 plus categories of uh, services, and uh, also cover 80% most commonly used scenarios. And uh, we can save on every three steps, right? Three steps on average, and uh, uh, translating in times, we can save five to 10 seconds which is uh, very significant for each individual mobile users. Talking about uh, uh, IDE, as, uh, this is a perfect integration of a Huawei Hiya IDE and Android Sto uh, Studio. So it's uh, compensating each other and uh, comprising develop the typical lifecycle needed by developer. Develop, de debug, test, uh, help, uh, and uh, uh, identification and authorization management functionality. And uh, it ca also covering end-to-end -end the entire software stack. I mean, the three layers I mentioned above, Huawei Foundation, Huawei Higher Engine, and Huawei High AI Services. So this four part build the soul and the core of our uh, high AI capability on the device. So, uh, Looking, uh, uh, looking into more details of integration, uh, efforts for Huawei High Engine has uh, been reduced uh, to our level. And uh, of course, uh, our developer can also uh, directly use the uh, functionality of a foundation. And the integration effort with the foundation can be reduced uh, to day level. So, so to, uh, in, in the middle layer to uh, our level, uh, in the bottom layer uh, to the day level. So on the left hand side is uh, our IDE, IDE for, uh, so you can see uh, our IDE is designed uh, for two types of uh, uh, developer. The, on the left hand side is uh, uh, IDE process for developer without self-owned models, just using our uh, AI API as an apps layer based on our services, 
requirement. Uh, as I said, all the models ha have already been pre-trained and uh, also ready to uh, use, simply use our API. And uh, there's no effort required for model development, training, testing, and the de uh, deployment. So uh, this is for one type of user. Of course, uh, our IDE is also designed for another type of user. On the, on the right-hand side, it's about a developer with self-owned models, so a comprehensive IDE process covering the whole DevOps cycle end-to-end. Uh, -end. Uh, so uh, there's so, so, many, so, many, uh, so many items uh, uh, in the middle. I think uh, you can see eight items. I don't need to go through every item. It's, uh, the, uh, this process covers a typical life cycle of uh, DevOps. In summary, four real and tangible products uh, 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 offered to our developed community, uh, foundation, engine, service, and IDE. They are well, they are well uh, designed in coherence and also supporting each other. And uh, one more thing. And uh, we have uh, more to offer to our developer in this community. And uh, uh, we have uh, around uh, all, for, all four parts I mentioned before, uh, we also offer Apps Gallery uh, with a homepage recommendation in App Gallery and uh, AI category. And the second offering, uh, additional offering, is uh, recommendations through Huawei official channels. Uh, uh, such as a special recom uh, column recommendation through various Huawei official social networks accounts and sticky on Huawei fan club. And uh, the third offering, additional offering, is, uh, uh, is a Huawei store recommendation. Uh, pro uh, it's about promotion in Huawei's physical store. We have so far, we have 10,000 physical stores. Last but not least, joint marketing. Uh, our partner can join PR, planning, and promotion. So next, I'd like to welcome Bo to the stage uh, presenting Prisma. Hello? Oh, it works. Okay, so hello, my name is Paul, and uh, nice to see you all here. Uh, thank you, Mr. Drew, for presenting our company, and we are very happy to be here at DroidCon in Berlin. Uh, and in Prisma Labs, uh, we're working hard to create AI-powered effects for photo and video, and uh, enable new opportunities to users to create very amazing pictures with their smartphones. So let me start with a question. How many of you use your smartphone for takes pictures? Raise your hand, please. Yeah, almost all of you. Good. So people take more and more pictures with uh, their smartphone. And uh, of course, I think, oh, it's next. And um, I guess uh, everyone wants to, their pictures looks great, but uh, our goal is to uh, improve user experience with a smartphone camera using uh, our AI capabilities and our experience on, on uh, running neural networks on a device, on smartphone, without uh, any cloud-based solution, uh, to allow people uh, to avoid spending time uh, choosing uh, good filters or um, appropriate settings, uh, to their pictures to look great, and uh, but just take pictures and uh, it automatically lo looks great. So this is our goal. Uh, and uh, as uh, uh, our partnership project with the Huawei, um, we increase speed of um, our flagship technology style transfer that used in our application called Prisma. Uh, because speed of processing is uh, extremely important because people don't want to wait a lot of time uh, while picture is processing. Uh, and uh, 
in Prisma, we use different uh, approaches to make our neural networks fast and accurate at the same time. But if hardware is also optimized for such computations, it could give you really, really good results. And uh, we are very happy that we can increase our AI models with uh, using NPU acceleration from Huawei. Uh, and uh, we accelerate uh, our style transfer technology using uh, this NPU, and uh, we uh, improve speed and achieve high speed on uh, NPU compared to usual CPU on Android. And also, we decreased uh, the model size uh, by up to 25 times. So we really value our partnership with the Huawei. And, uh, we are sure that with the mutual efforts, we can uh, achieve uh, very big results in a smartphone camera user experience and uh, enable to people to like, just shoot and to be a professional photographer. Yeah, thank you. And uh, back to Mr. Drew. Thank you, Paul. Uh, next, uh, let's welcome uh, Lina to the stage. Hi, everyone. I'm Lina from Kingsoft in Beijing. Um, it's a great pleasure to meet you here. First, um, please allow me to introduce our company and our product. Is there anyone who uses WPS Office? OK, thank you. Let me introduce it for you. <coughs> Kingsoft was founded in 1988 and listed in Hong Kong in 2007. It has four subsidiary companies, Kingsoft Office, Cheetah Mobile, Kingsoft Cloud, and Season Games. Our offices are located in China and the United States. WPS Office is one of the most popular all-in-one office suite. With WPS, you can create read, edit all kinds of files, include Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and PDF. You can share and access them anywhere and anytime. You can use WPS free on all your devices, your Android phone, your iPhone, your tablet, and your computer. All your documents could be saved and synchronized across all your devices with our cloud service. There are over 1.25 billion installs and more than 250 million monthly active users. WPS dominates China market, and we are expanding our global footprint and increasing international brand awareness. As what we are talking about here today is that how AI is used in our WPS office and how AI is redefining mobile applications. Just like today, you come here during the keynote and you want to share the presentation with your team. What will you do? Now, you can finish it easily with the help of high AI and WPS office. High AI and WPS Office can help you take notes, such as meeting minutes, lecture notes, without handwriting and keyboarding. What you need to do is to take out your mobile, take photos, choose photos which you want to add in your presentation. High AI and WPS will recognize the main content in each of your photos capture and clean the images, and transform them into a PowerPoint presentation. Then you can send it to anyone you want. Yes, AI makes it easy. You couldn't imagine that how fast the integration progress is. It took us only half a day to deal with the high AI APIs to make the main procedure work. And we spent several days and took a lot of photos to test and optimize the working flow to improve the user experience. After we created this feature, users open more files and spend more time in WPS. 
We think that AI and machine learning will explore and unlock many interesting areas. We must keep learning and get ready for the upcoming challenges. That's why we cooperate with High AI. During our cooperation, High AI helped us a lot with its professional AI skills. It builds a favorable ecological environment and provides all-round technical support. Now we keep on. Uh, now we keep working on creating more intelligent features with High AI. We hope that you could join us. Let us work together to get AI to help everyone. Here is my email. For any question and cooperation, please feel free to contact me. Thanks for your time. Thank you, Lena. So, let me do the let me do the closing. So, uh, in summary, we offer four uh, aspects: uh, high AI foundation, high AI engine, high AI service, and high AI IDE in a full scale of both uh, width and depth, as well as uh, a total openness to our developer community, and. Uh, uh, our ultimate goal is uh, fast, simple, and a win. So we have a more uh, session to offer, and uh, today, uh, 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 today uh, from uh, uh, 14.05 uh, to 15.30, we have uh, our colleagues, uh, uh, our colleagues Yang Jin and Ying Wen Shuai, uh, talking about uh, High AI Foundation uh, Open Platform as well as higher engine open platform in more technical detail, and uh, the venue will be Jelly Bean. And uh, next, uh, also tomorrow, uh, from 14.05 to 15.30, uh, we have another colleague, Dong Xin, uh, talking about how to trans uh, transplant the AI algorithm model to Huawei Higher Platform, as well as uh, Huawei Higher Platform IDE itself. So also in the venue of a jelly bean. Well, that is uh, pretty much uh, I'd like to share with you today. Thank you.